Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Malcolm. Time for episodes 114 and 115 of Star Wars: The Clone Wars. I know I've been slipping, but I'm on the motherfucker. Let's get to it. I I'm sorry, but you're still too injured to move. Uh oh, this fucking. But you'll need our help. You can't fight them alone. We will not fight them at all. We would rather die than to kill others. You're going to surrender? I am General Lockgood of the Separatist <laughs> Alliance. I, I congratulate you on your good fortune. Thank you. But we enjoyed good fortune well before your arrival. Pay them no mind. Can't we do anything? No. And if we are discovered, all of the Lumen will be slaughtered. We'll be okay. If we make it to the tall grasses. They ain't gonna make it to the tall grasses, are they? I have no quarrel with the Jedi. But we cannot help them without being drawn into their war. Tom, track the Jedi. Follow them and make sure they get off world. Dad's being ridiculous this episode. I was with him last episode. He's been ridiculous this episode. You know, I, I, just this village. I think we just did. Blast it! <laughs> That's clean. That's on that blast things, I assume. Apparently, the separatists have a new toy. See if you can get a closer look. Yes, sir. See how educated I am? Something that blast things. Outside the box thing right there. Of my own design. Which is capable of catastrophic destruction. A weapon which will destroy organic matter, but leave machines unharmed. That's a solid goddamn weapon. But first, we need two volunteers. The volunteer. I hope it turns out to be worth the expense. You may proceed. Yes, my lord. Ready? I didn't Roger. catch this guy's name. I like him. And you hate him like him, but you know what I mean. He's a good villain. No, idiot. He's not even gonna get us. Woo! Oh, shit. Nice. I like her. I specifically chose this planet because it is inhabited. The colonists will make excellent test subjects. Wow. Proceed then. I eagerly await the results. Prepare to move out. Is it a bright ass light, stupid? That was badass. I like her. Check the exterior. Cannot have any surprises for the general. 4724. <laughs> now is the West End check. Our philosophy is helpless to survive for generations, and we will not change our morals now or ever. Dad wants to die. Fuck him. We will not abandon our homes. But they've got a new weapon. It'll burn this place to a crisp. Is this what all of you really want? If it is our destiny to be destroyed in your war, so be it. I can't wrap my brain around that logic. Higher! Incoming! Power the shields! Kinda kinda close, ain't you? Get back 
care of the new weapon. Love that, okay. They're taking out the shield generators! You have to do something. You think? Now we're fucked. There's a Jedi heading right for us. Then blast him! <laughs> blast him! Feeling better, huh? Go ahead, man. What more would you have them do before we are allowed to defend ourselves? But we have to do this. A little baby dad, I know you guys believe me. Fuck him. Defoliated. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Defoliated. <laughs> Thank you, Wag Two. Thank you. Our village would certainly have been destroyed without your protection. Most certainly. But I still wonder at what cost. Hmm. With all due respect, Chairman, this is for the Senate to decide, not us. Ah, but the Jedi report to the Senate, which is Senator Chuchi of Pandora. Technically... Anakin, stay here with the Senator and the droids while we secure the base. That's not good. I don't get it. It must be Separatists. I am not sure. By the look of things... I'd say whoever attacked our base took out the droids also. God damn, that's yeah. kind of dope. That's just kind of dope. They've overrun the base. We need reinforcements. What was that? Whatever it was, it's a good warrior. The droids log indicates they were investigating oh, look the Southern Canyon. Gigantic baby. Like but there are no dead droids here. No blast marks. The clone's injuries were not consistent with what- So, you're an expert on war now, are you, Senator? If the Jedi discover that the Separatists aren't behind this, then perhaps there is a peaceful resolution. Senator, I am willing to fight and die for my people. It's time to ask yourself if you are brave enough to do the same. Oh, Jesus. I think he's a decent dude, he's just an ass. And a rude ass at that. There's some kind of... Let's not provoke them as the droids and our troops must have done. <laughs> Look at Obi Wan, the gangster. Obi Wan said you gangster. Aww. Oh, is that just one road cocksucker out there killing him? They want peace. We can't send troopers. They'll think we lied. These creatures are little more than animals. You can't lie to an animal. They can't. So the gunships can't take off in this storm. We don't have enough bikes for the entire platoon. Have the rest of the men stand by here. No matter what the chairman thinks, we're not going to war. Big Blue's gonna fuck all this up. I am not here for this. Their scouts have been following us for some time. It seems Tai Sen doesn't trust you any more than you trust him. <laughs> Woo! He wishes to be good neighbors, but he does not wish you to remain on his planet. Listen, droid. Translate everything I say, and exactly as I say it. Would you like me to represent Pintora in this matter? Not on your life, Senator. And as the Supreme Chairman and exalted ruler of Pantora, you will not command me to leave this planet or do anything else. The Tals are easily provoked. <laughs> That didn't go over very well. At all. This episode kind of came out of nowhere. I'm here for it. They are. Fire when you're in range. So with all due respect, we're only here to protect you. Ambush! The 
Damn. We can't retreat from these animals. So ridiculous. Oh! Savages. Damn it. I know it's your job, but fuck. Life is easy if you let this cocksucker die. The assembly has decided that the actions of Chairman Cho are out of order. Senator Chuchi, you are given the authority to negotiate a peaceful settlement between the sovereign planet of Pantora and the Tarts. It is decided then. Pilot, let's get moving. Feels like it's a little late for that, but we give it a shot. The Jedi serve the Senate. I must order you to- Senator, it is your people the Tarts are at war with. If the violence is to stop, it is you who must represent your people. All right, are we? Avenge me as my final command. Impossible. Peace. Never. I died for our people. Senator, now is the time. Yeah. Aww. We will leave Auto Plutonia under the watchful eyes of the Tals from this day forth and recognize your sovereignty as a free and equal people. Aww. Good job, dummy. And be an example to others, so not only this war, but every war waged may come to an end as well. I will. I promise you. That's a fun episode. All right, that was episodes 114 and 115 of Star Horse, the Clone Horse. Where to begin? We'll start with 114. It seems to make the most sense. Listen, I understand the old man is trying to keep his beliefs and keep his principles, etc., etc., etc. But. What good is a belief if there'll be nobody around to promote them? If there's nobody around to carry them on? This whole village is about to get burnt to a crisp. Who will then preach these beliefs? Nobody, because they'll all be, I was going to say in the ground, but that's not even accurate. Ashes. So yeah, while I was a fan of him in 113, he bothered me this episode. A lot. I don't remember, I don't know the other Jedi's name. Not Anakin, obviously. And not Snips, the other one. She's a badass. I love her. I love her a lot. And she's rational, which is always necessary. Especially with this crew. Lord knows she needs rational. I don't know the villain's name either for this episode. Um, but he was one of my favorites. One of my favorite villains. He's not Grievous or Dooku or uh, shit. Ventress. Yeah, I pulled it out. That's what she said. But, um, he was fantastic. He was perfectly kind of slimy. But motivated. Ambitious is the word. Um, as for episode 115, here's where I have a problem, and I could come across a bit of a hypocrite. But, first of all, I really like the episode. It's number one. Number two, well, I usually praise the pace of these episodes and of 40 minute long dramas and 20 minute long animated series. To me, this is the type of episode that could have been two episodes, minimum, maybe even three. We flew through that and there was a lot of stuff we could have done with it. The suspense we could have built up, we could have did this, we could have did that, we could have did third. Uh, these fucking cocksuckers who are on this planet, 
minding their own business. We could have hung out with them for a little bit. We could have learned more about this asshole um, chairman who's got a brilliant character. He is uh, war hungry, war mad, but he's not ambitious about it. It is what it is. They are the enemy. We deserve this. We deserve that. Why does he feel that way? Why this? Why that? And then the senator who has a backstory wrong. I just feel like we flew through this. And I could have loved two episodes, three episodes, instead of liking this episode. I really like that episode, though. I just, I, I like the idea of it. Those guys are stuck with me. And will stick with me. At least for a little bit. Um... Obi-Wan is a gangster of the highest order. Always is. Though him talking to a senator like that felt odd. I know he is significantly older. Um, and he's fucking Obi-Wan, but still. And um, Anakin's always a treat. <laughs> anyway, uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.